EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchich here throughout look for March 15th, 2024. It is Friday, end of the work week, middle of the month. And the Friday video forecast is proudly sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall is a family-owned and operated brewery with two locations in the Lehigh Valley. Their original Southside Allentown location is at 102 East Susquehanna Street. And their second location, McCall Collective Tap House in Trexlertown, is located at 7743 Hamilton Boulevard. Both locations are open seven days a week and have a full food menu. Plenty of beer to choose from for both dine-in or takeout, including 17 different beers on draft at... So uh, the Susquehanna location and 10 at Tap House, along with local wine and cocktails. They have trivia night every Wednesday at 6.30 and dollar wing day and night at both locations at every Thursday. For details about all their upcoming events, please visit their Facebook page or to place online orders, visit their website, McCallCollectiveBrewing.com. Proud sponsors of the Friday video forecast. Of course, this weekend is uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend, so I'm sure there's plenty of reason, nothing you need a reason, Plenty of reason to enjoy uh, some good local beer from McCall's, uh, either of McCall's two locations. So today we have uh, still a mild day, but it's not going to be quite as warm as what we saw yesterday. Again, yesterday was another fantastic day. I played hooky with my wife. We were up at a winery, a couple wineries actually. Yesterday got a little bit of color to me today, but not burned, which is good. But uh, we do have, it was a fantastic day, just gorgeous day. Uh, temperatures well into the 70s across the region, so it was just a, a, just a perfect day to be outside. Unfortunately, today we're going to have a lot of clouds to deal with because we have a frontal boundary working through, and because of that, temperatures are going to be capped. Our far northwestern areas on the opposite side of that front, because the front's going to come through earlier in our northwestern areas, you're going to only get to about, manage about 60 when you get by Williamsport. But our southeastern areas, when you get close to Atlantic City and uh, down to Dover, you're getting up close to into the lower 70s because you'll be ahead of that frontal boundary until that moves through. So we will have a milder day there today also, but, uh, you know, this is still warmer than average considerably, no matter how you uh, want to uh, twist this here. It's still above average considerably today, even though it won't be as warm, obviously, as it was on uh, on Thursday. So this frontal banner is going to move through. And again, I think our southeastern areas are actually going to get the most out of this as far as any rain. The interior are really not going to have too much. As we get over the NAM high res, future simulator radar starting us off at 8 o'clock in the morning. Just a few spotty showers here and there. Very light uh, spits, not really uh, doing much here. Uh, so you'll have some activity moving through during the afternoon. Some lighter stuff. Some of this might not even be reaching the ground, but if it is, it's very light. But the concentration of anything that's a little bit more organized will be down here by the Delmarva, Southern Jersey, Delaware mostly, and parts of Maryland. And that will slide off this evening. This is late afternoon into early evening is when the most concentrated time of any precipitation is. But again, for the interior, it's really not going to be much. As a matter of fact, it's not even showing as measurable on the 12 hour precipitation in the interior except for a few spots of these really light grays like just trace amounts it's not really really showing up until you get down here across far southern new jersey and parts of delaware and and eastern maryland where you're getting into maybe a tenth or two of uh, an inch of rain if you can get uh squeeze every little drop out of it so it's not showing very much and so for most of the area you're going to be mostly dry today again you can't roll out a, a shower just bring the umbrella with you just for a quick shower if, if you want to but um, this is not going to be what it was earlier uh, advertised to be earlier in the week okay and then partly partly to mostly cloudy skies overnight and then we're going to be partly to mostly sunny in the wake of this on saturday we're still going to be on either side of 60 degrees though 56 to 62 so again the cold front moves through and it's not really cold it's just a little cooler than what we just uh, dealt with we're not in the 70s we're now in the upper upper 50s to low 60s across the region as you see above me in the uh, video but you know that's still above average for this time of year and then once we get into sunday we have another reinforcing cold front on the lead of a trough that's going to move through all this is going to do is an, uh, result in an increase in clouds saturday night maybe Sunday morning, and there could be a stray shower up here closest to the New York-Pennsylvania border, but it doesn't look like it's going to affect anywhere else. And if it does, it's just going to be a stray passing shower probably earlier in the morning on Sunday. And then after that, your uh, intervals of clouds and sun, it'll be turning breezy as this front moves through, and then we're going to start turning colder. So Sunday will still be kind of mid to upper 50s for highs, and then when we get into next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday most notably, we're going to have temperatures that are going to be in the either side of, of, of the middle 40s, okay? So some low to mid 40s or in southeastern areas, some mid to upper 40s. It's going to be a lot chillier, but this is not cold, cold to the point where we're not talking about January cold here. 
there is a limit to uh, to what this cold can be because of time of year. All right, and there are no systems coinciding with this. It's just going to be cold and dry this entire time. It looks like uh, the coldest of those three days, even though it's going to be partly cloudy, it's going to be uh, Tuesday. It looks like Tuesday is when the core of the cold. Uh, air works into the region that we slightly moderate a little bit on Wednesday and then even more so by the time we get to Thursday uh, not totally out of the trough though but just a slight influence there where temperature get on either side of 50 by the time we get to Thursday should be dry the majority of this week uh, once we get past today and again I feel most areas won't see much of anything today either but uh, we are gonna have a breezy period it looks like we're gonna, that's gonna start on Sunday cold air advection related stuff with the front as it moves through and we're going to remain kind of breezy monday tuesday maybe even wednesday yet with winds 10 to 15 miles per hour gusting 20 to 25 nothing crazy but with that colder air moving in you are going to feel it and it's certainly going to feel compared to what we just saw yesterday and the day before with temperatures getting 70 or above in a lot of places so it was pretty nice uh, nice while it lasted, we're getting back to reality, it looks like, and, and uh, over the next couple of days, and especially when we get into early next week, the early to middle part of next week, where temperatures will be uh, starting to get out of the 40s area-wide. On BPA, WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers, that is your outlook for March 15th, 2024. Have a great Friday.